Well, when Derek Weimer found out or heard that one of the students he taught here at Cooper High School was behind the wheel of that car in Charlottesville, the first name that came to his mind was James Fields. And he was right. And that connection both shocked and saddened him. Now, Weimer taught Fields in world history and America's war, America's modern war classes. He described the then teenager as very quiet, but very bright and someone who believed in white supremacy, Adolf Hitler, and the Nazi ideology. However, he never thought those beliefs would steer him toward violence. In fact, as Fields neared graduation, his plans were to join the U.S. military. His senior year, he was real gung-ho on joining the Army, and he was, towards the end of the year, found out that he was denied, and it was because of a history of antipsychotic you know, medication that was prescribed. Um, and, you know, when you bring that into the picture and, and you bring the views and you bring, you know, the views of Nazism, of white supremacy, and, and I mean, who knows what he was experiencing once he left this area and went up north in Ohio, like who he was hanging around with and stuff. You start to see how it, it is like this perfect storm. It comes together and you get an incident like this. Now, Weimer added that he had a good relationship with Fields and tried to talk him down from those viewpoints at some point uh, over their many discussions. Obviously, those viewpoints took hold. And Weimer says that's very unusual for someone in this part of Boone County, perhaps, to have those views and to then act on them. Tom McKee, Nine on Your Side, live at Cooper High School in Union.